Let's talk about referential equality in JavaScript. The idea behind referential equality is that you can have a value like an array A here that has one, two, and three, and you can have another array that has the same value. And these two things will not be referentially equal because they're different objects in memory. So we can log out A triple equals B, and we're gonna see that's false. One place this idea of references is really important is when you're passing values to a function. So if we had a function called add item that took an array and then an item to add to it, and we did array dot push and add that item to the end of it, and then return the array, you might think that this array here is a copy that we're modifying the copy and then returning something. But what's actually happening is we're modifying the original array. So if we were to say log out the array A and then call add item, and we'll pass in the array A and another item to add like the number nine. And then we log out A again. And let's also put the result into a variable and we'll log out the result as well. So what you might think would happen is this would print one, two, three, this would print one, two, three, and then this one would print one, two, three, nine. But what actually happens is the first one's one, two, three, but then once we've called add item, we've actually modified the original array A here. So while the result is actually one, two, three, nine, like we expect it to be, we've also modified A. The other consequence of this is that the array that we've returned is actually the exact same thing as the one that was passed in. So if we were to log out a triple equals result, we're gonna see that that's true because these two things, even though they're different variables, they point to the same array in memory. This all leads to another related topic, which is the concept of pure functions. So this add item function is not pure because it modifies one of its arguments. A pure function would not modify its arguments. And if it was gonna change something, it would make a copy and then return that copy. So if we made a new function called add item pure, and it takes an array and an item, one way to make this pure is to create a copy. We'll put it in a variable called copy, and we can use the slice function on an array to make a copy of it. And now we can push something onto the copy. So we can say copy.push item, and now we'll return the copy instead of the original array. Now let's change the code we have here. So we're gonna log out A, we're gonna call add item pure with A and the number nine, and then log out A and the result again. And now we're gonna see the first time it's one, two, three, that's here. And then we've added an item to it and it's still one, two, three because we didn't modify A, but the result has the number nine and A is not the same array as the result. 